sometimes you just need a little bit of help. Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. So what I want to talk about today is stock photography, stock images, templates, themes, that sort of thing. Believe it or not, regardless of what level of graphic designer you are, these things matter and they're important to you. Sometimes the client is not always going to give you great images and things to work with and you need to deliver on a concept. Sometimes you're going to need to actually get a stock photo or a series of stock photos to do an in-house design job for your boss. Some companies actually have a budget for that sort of thing. Other times they'll expect you to hunt that stuff down. This has been true for me as a freelancer. This has been true for me as an in-house designer. This has been true for me working at an ad agency. And it's certainly been true for me as a creative entrepreneur. So I'm going to give you guys five resources that I use to get stock images, templates, and all of those things. So more recently, I've actually started using Adobe Stock. And in full disclosure, I am now a Adobe Stock ambassador, which is actually really cool. And they hooked me up with some free images. But beyond that, I have to pay for the service just the same as the rest of you guys. One of the reasons Adobe Stock is such a great resource is because they acquired Fotolia. Fotolia is one of the independent stock houses that wasn't absorbed by getting images, which means that they have a lot of unique images and they had a lot of great deals with their contributors versus there are a lot of people who complain about the Getty brand uh, companies. Uh, and there are reasons for that which I may talk about in another video. I don't know how I feel about that. That's more of a photography topic. Maybe I'll cover that on a Wednesday. But with that in mind, uh, Adobe Stock has some really cool stuff. Now, there is a subscription membership. It is $30 a month, and you get 10 images with that. I know there are people who are going to complain about yet another Adobe subscription. I will probably talk about that in another video, but I think it's practical. What you guys need to understand is I'm paying $75 a month right now just to send you guys my Create Awesome newsletter uh, every week. So if you think Adobe is expensive, try all the other business expenses, please. But if you need something super affordable, well, they're all alternatives. Let's start with something free, uh, freeimages.com. The resources here, not always the best, but they are free and they are available. At some point, I'll probably do a video on five free resources for stock photos. In fact, if this video can get 500 likes, I will do that pretty much as soon as that happens. There's a limit to the type of assets you get with this. You're not going to get vector packs, which you do with Adobe and the other sites that I'm going to mention here. And you're not going to get things like infographic templates, which are really convenient actually. Um, and the other types of PSDs. These are pretty much going to be JPEG images for the most part. There is a variety. And again, if you need something that's free because maybe you're a student, then I would recommend it iStock Photo is something that I've used for years and that is now owned by Getty and thus I use them a lot less. So if nothing else, I would sign up for a free iStock Photo account and download the free images every week. Another affordable solution that is a uh, stock house that's independent of Getty right now is Canstock Photo. This is where I actually love to get images that are affordable. I can go ahead and buy credits from them. It's fantastic. And uh, what I really like is that they also have a lot of unique images. I don't see these same photos popping up just everywhere. So between uh, Adobe Stock and Canstock Photo, those are usually two of my go-tos in terms of like uh, paid stock photos and images. And in my opinion, they have some of the best stuff. Finally, and this one is kind of more than one by itself, is the Envato network of sites, Theme Forest and Photo Dune in particular. Uh, Graphic River lets you go ahead and grab Photoshop templates, InDesign templates, Illustrator stuff with vector assets. Uh, it's for all around graphics, pretty much everything you need from magazine templates, banner ads, you name it. Photodune focuses on photography and that's where you can get those resources, whereas ThemeForest focuses on website templates and email templates. So you have a lot of options there. With Adobe Stock, I like that you get a variety as well. The same thing with um, iStock Photo sometimes. There are other assets you can get there, such as Illustrator files. So between these five solutions, you know, and I'm including the Envato network as one when it's really multiple websites, um, then you have some variety here. Whatever you might need as a graphic designer, whatever you might need to do digital vector artwork, whatever you might need to do even websites, you have some options and some solutions to get these things as a graphic designer. I think it's really practical because you can save time with this. Uh, you can still customize it to your heart's content. What I like about Adobe Stock is you can use this stuff commercially in your paid projects. Most of the other graphics sites uh, and stock photo sites, you can do that as well. Just make sure you're reading the terms and conditions very carefully. 
I might need to do a video about that in the future and about how to use stock photos like that. I might just want to bring in somebody who has the legal side of it uh, as an expertise uh, because that stuff gets complicated. So, like I said, those are five stock photo and image resources for you guys, and you can check them out. And again, freeimages.com is free. If you guys want me to do a list of nothing but uh, resources where you can get free stock images and downloads, 500 likes on this video. Also, I'm running a poll. Of these uh, you know, five options that I gave you, which one do you like the most if you've ever used it in the past or sounds the most appealing to you? I also want to know how you guys are using uh, stock images and templates in your everyday work, so let me know that in the comments section. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. Remember, graphic design videos are typically on Mondays. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today. Take care.